hello everyone and welcome back to my channel from last two videos we have been discussing the methods to estimate heritability and this video is the third part of this topic in first part I talked about the methods to estimate broad sense heritability and methods to estimate narrow sense heritability in that part I also provided an example of estimation of broad sense heritability using twins data in second part of this topic I described the parent offspring regression method and I also provided an example of estimation of narrow sense heritability using regression of offspring on one parent so if you didn't watch these earlier videos I would recommend you to watch them before watching this one to better understand the methods to estimate heritability I have provided the link of those videos in the description of this video so this video is the third part on this topic so in this video I am going to talk about the estimation of narrow sense heritability using regression of offspring on mid parent so first we will see what are the methods to estimate narrow sense heritability the first method to estimate narrow sense heritability is the offspring parent regression method and this method is further divided into two types regression of offspring on one parent and regression of offspring on mid parent the second method to estimate narrow sense heritability is the correlation between relatives and this method can also be further divided into different types uh, like correlation between parent offspring or correlation between sibs or full sibs or half sibs the third method to estimate narrow sense heritability is the analysis of variance which is also sometimes known as intra-class correlation method and this method can also be further divided into two types which are intra-class correlation between full sibs and intra-class correlation between half sibs the fourth method to estimate narrow sense heritability is uh, through restricted maximum likelihood method which is also known as Ramel method and this is the most reliable method to estimate heritability so we have been discussing the estimation of narrow sense heritability using offspring parent regression method and I have already described the estimation of heritability using regression of offspring on one parent method in my previous video so in this video I will talk about the estimation of heritability using regression of offspring on mid parent so first we will see what is mid parent mid parent is the average phenotypic value of both of the parents for a particular trait so to estimate heritability using regression of offspring on mid parent we need phenotypic information on both of the parents and their offspring for example we need phenotypic data on on the male parent which is also known as sire and we also need the phenotypic data on on dam or female parent as well as we also need the phenotypic information on their offspring so this method cannot be used to estimate heritability for sex limited traits so now I will give you a little bit overview of this method as you know that offspring are 50 percent genetically similar to one parent which means they share 50 percent of their genes with one parent and offspring inherits 50 percent of genes from one parent so offspring inherit 50 percent of the genes from male parent and 50 percent of the genes from female parent so in this case 
द रिग्रेशन कोफिशेंट वुड बी इक्वल टू हेरिटेबिलिटी हाउ बिकॉज वी आर टेकिंग द एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ बोथ पेरेंट्स एज ऑफ स्प्रिंग रिसीव फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ देयर जीन्स फ्राम मेल पेरेंट एंड फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ देयर जीन्स फ्राम फीमेल पेरेंट सो वैन वी टेक द एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ बोथ पेरेंट्स इट मीन्स दैट द रिग्रेशन कोफिशेंट नाव वुड बी इक्वल टू हेरिटेबिलिटी बट इन प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एस्टिमेशन ऑफ हेरिटेबिलिटी यूजिंग यूजिंग रिग्रेशन ऑफ ऑफ स्प्रिंग ऑन वन पेरेंट इन दैट केस द रिग्रेशन कोफिशेंट वैल्यू वॉज इक्वल टू हाफ हेरिटेबिलिटी बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम वी वर ओनली कंसिडरिंग द फिनोटिपिक वैल्यू ऑन वन पेरेंट बट नाउ इन दिस केस एज वी आर कंसिडरिंग द फिनोटिपिक वैल्यूज ऑन बोथ पेरेंट सो नाउ द रिग्रेशन कोफिशेंट वुड बी इक्वल टू हेरिटेबिलिटी सो नाउ वट वी विल गेट द वैल्यू फॉर रिग्रेशन कोफिशेंट वुड बी द वैल्यू फॉर हेरिटेबिलिटी सो टू एस्टिमेट हेरिटेबिलिटी यूजिंग रिग्रेशन ऑफ ऑफ स्प्रिंग ऑन मिड पेरेंट वी विल फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट द रिग्रेशन कोफिशेंट बिटवीन द ऑफ स्प्रिंग एंड मिड पेरेंट वैल्यू टू कैलकुलेट रिग्रेशन कोफिशेंट वी विल यूज द मशीन मैथड हुज फार्मूला इज गिवन हीयर रिग्रेशन ऑफ वाई ऑन एक्स इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ एक्स वाई माइनस सम ऑफ एक्स इन टू सम ऑफ वाई डिवाइडेड बाई एन एंड दिस होल इज डिवाइडेड बाई सम ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस सम ऑफ एक्स होल स्क्वेयर डिवाइडेड बाई एन हीयर द बी रिप्रजेंट्स द रिग्रेशन कोफिशेंट and x represents the independent variable which is also sometimes called as predictor or explanatory variable and y is the dependent variable or which is also sometimes called as response variable or outcome variable so now i will provide an example on estimation of narrow sense heritability using regression of offspring on mid parent i have this data on the weaning weight of goat this first column shows the offspring id which are 1 2 3 4 and 5 the second column shows the sire weaning weight the third column shows the dam's weaning weight and the fourth column shows the mid parent value which is the average of sire and dam's weaning weight and the fifth column shows the offspring winning weight so first i will show you how can you calculate the mid parent value actually offspring id sire winning weight dam winning weight and offspring winning weight was already available and i myself calculated this mid parent value so now i will show you how can you calculate the mid parent value so to calculate the mid parent value for a particular trait we will sum up the uh, phenotypic value of sire and dam and divide it by 2 which is actually the formula to meyer average or mean so we summed up 15.5 plus 13.5 divided by 2 that is equal to 14.5 the second sire's winning weight was 16 dam's winning weight was 12 so 16 plus 12 that is 28 28 divided by 2 would be 14 so their mid value is 14 so one important thing which you should also have to keep in mind that this mid parent value would now be the x value because mid parent value is the independent vari variable the weaning weight of parents is not dependent on the weaning weight of offspring but the weaning weight of offspring always depends on the weaning weight of the parents so that's why we always use the independent variable for parents which is x and dependent variable for offspring which is y so that's why i denoted the offspring winning weight with y and the mid parent value with x 
so as now we have the mid parent value we will find the regression coefficient of offspring on mid parent value so here is the formula first we need sum of x y we also need sum of x we need sum of y we need n we need sum of x square we need sum of x and this n so we will calculate first these values and then will put into this formula to calculate the regression coefficient so first we will calculate the values for x square to calculate x square we will square the x value 14.5 square is equal to 210.25 and will square all of the x values okay in this x square column as we also need x y so we will calculate it by multiplying the value of x with the value of y so 14.5 multiply by 14 is equal to 203 and using the same method we will calculate the x y for remaining four individuals we also need sum of x and sum of y and n we will again calculate all of these so n is 5 as we have data on only five parent and offsprings and our sum of x is equal to 68.5 and sum of y is equal to 73 sum of x square is equal to 943.38 and sum of xy is equal to 1002.63 okay so as we have calculated now these values we will put them into our formula so i have replaced the sum of xy with the sum of xy value which is here again i replace the sum of x value from here and sum of y value with this one important thing which you have to keep in mind that this sum of x square is different from this sum of x square okay in this way first we have to square each value and then summed up but in this case we will sum up all the values and then square so this would be replaced with 943.38 that is here written and in sum of x we would we would write this 68.5 okay and n we have five numbers so n would be five so in next step first you will multiply these two it would become like this and you also have to square up 68.5 which would become like this and after solving the equation our results would be 2.52 divided by 4.92 so after dividing it our regression coefficient would be equal to 0.51 okay so as in this case the regression coefficient is equal to heritability so the value of heritability is also 0.51 as the value of regression coefficient is 0.51 so our value of heritability will also be 0.51 as we have used the mid parent value so our regression value was equal to the heritability value so this was all about this video i'm sure now you can estimate heritability using regression of offspring on mid parent if you like the video please share it with your friends and if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe it